Hey guys, welcome back once again. In this video, I am going to show you how to export material table data into Excel sheet. Alright, as you can see here, I have a simple material table and you might have noticed at the top right corner, I have a export icon. So here on hover over, it's saying export to Excel. So now let me click on this and here it's asking me to save this file so I saved it and now the file got downloaded now let me open this file okay and here as you can see we got our whole data so we have filled here ID name email year and fee so our table have three data only that's why we are getting three row so this functionality doesn't exist to material table so we have to write our custom function to export into the Excel. So for that, let's jump to the VS code and implement this export material table data into Excel sheet. So let's come here and open SRC. Let's go to the app.js. Okay. And here as you can see, so I am rendering here two heading and after that I have here material table. So here I am passing three props to this material table. First is the title. So there is student details. Second is the column definition. And this column definition is coming from here, which one I have hard coded. Okay. And now here the data. And this data is coming from here at the top as you can see which one I have hard coded and this are uh, data object having three data. Okay. So now let's come back to the browser and let's see how it's looking right now. So this is how our table is looking. So in order to export data into Excel sheet, we need to install a package and that is called XLSX. Okay. So here let's come back and open terminal and here new terminal and type here npm install xlsx okay and hit enter so now it will get downloaded in meanwhile we will design our table and we will get a icon over here so in order to get icon here we have to add a action to this material table so here let's add a new property called actions okay and this is gonna to take a array and here the object and this object is gonna to represent a action so here I will call it as icon okay and this is gonna to take a callback function which is gonna to return a JSX so here I will call it as button and here I will write export inside that now the other property here I need to pass is tooltip Okay, so here I will call it as export to Excel. Okay, so on click and here I will show a lot as of now. So clicked. Okay, now let's save it and let's come back here. So as you can see, we got this export button in our each row. But here we want to get this button only once at the top here. So for that here we have to make this button as a free action. So here is free action and pass this value as a true. So now save it and let's come back here. So now as you can see we are getting this export button only once. So now let me click on this and here we got this alert clicked. Okay. So now our package is ready so let's close this and come back here so here as you can see on click of this export button here we are calling a function so now let's remove this function and let's call a custom function here so for that here let's call it as download excel okay so this function doesn't exist 
so let's create this function at the top here const download excel and this is gonna to be a arrow function okay and now let's import xlsx so for here import and let's come back to the function okay so first of all we have to create a worksheet and a worksheet can be created by the use of utils of xlsx so for that here const worksheet okay and here the x lxx dot utils dot so here we have a function json to sheet that is gonna to take a json data and it will convert into the sheet so here json to sheet and now here we need to pass a json so we are holding our json into the student data object so for that here pass student data okay so now we have created our worksheet now let's create workbook okay so let's do the same so here workbook okay and here this dot utils dot and here we will create a fresh new book so we have a function book new okay so book new so we will get a workbook okay so now what we have to do is we have already created a workbook and now we have to combine both of them so for that here x lsx dot here utils again and we have another one function that is called book append sheet because already we have created here book and already we are having sheet here as well we have to append our sheet to this book so for that here book append sheet okay and this is gonna to take here three parameter the first parameter is gonna to be our workbook so here work book okay so this is what we have created and second parameter we have to pass as a work sheet so here work sheet and the third parameter we have to pass here is sheet name so here i will call it as a, a students so a students i have hard coded this so now here we need to create a buffer so buffers so which is gonna to help you a lot once you have a bulk data okay so here let's call it as let buffer equal to and here x l s x dot right okay and here we will provide our workbook so work book comma and here we are gonna to provide another one object and here the book type okay so this book type is gonna to be our x l s x and now here we need to pass another one property and that is called type so here for the this one we will pass your type as a buffer so this will create a node.js buffer basically so now here we need to generate a binary string in web browser okay so for that here i will call it as binary string so here x l s x dot and here we will call this function again right okay here we will pass our workbook only and now here book type so book type and this is gonna to be same as before and now here we will pass type as a binary okay so now we have done and we have converted into the binary string so now we have to download the file so for that here x l s x dot write file okay so write file and here we need to pass our workbook so work book comma and here the second parameter is gonna to be our file name 
so here i will hard code this and call it as a students data dot and the extension so here x l s x okay so now here i will write a comment download okay so here what we have done is we have created a worksheet and we passed a data here we have created a workbook okay and here we have attached our sheet to the book and here we have passed our sheet name and now here we have created a buffer in node and after that we have created binary a string into the web browser okay so at last here we are passing workbook and file name to write file function which is gonna to download the file so now let's save it and already we are calling this function here okay so let's come back here and now let me click on this export so here as you can see i got this students data okay so now let me click on this save and it's getting downloaded and now as you can see it's got downloaded and let me open this okay so here we got all the data and here as you can see this is the seat name this is the student so whatever the value we have provided here we got into the seat name here okay so here we have id name email year and fee but you might have noticed here we have another one column that is called table data and we don't have any idea from where it came so for that here let's come back okay and before performing any of the operation let's do the console log to the data so here i will call it as student data now save it and let's come back here so do right click go to the inspect and from here select console okay so now let me click on this export icon and here let's cancel this and here as you can see we have something so name so let me expand a data and now as you can see we have this table data okay so this we have this table data and that's why we are getting this table data empty there so let me show you here so this table data is getting added by material table we are not doing this okay so in order to remove this what we have to do is we have to write our custom function okay to delete that one and we will pass those data to this json to sheet okay so for that here let's remove this line okay and here let's call it as const new data and equal to here the student data dot and here we will map through it okay so this map is gonna to give me a row and from here i will delete that so for that here i will write delete row dot table data okay so here basically this is the table data okay key name so this is the row which is gonna to represent a particular object so here i deleted and after this i will return this row from here so now save it and here we will pass our new data okay so now let's save and let's come back here okay now let me click on this export icon and here i saved it and let me open this excel sheet so here as you can see we have this id name email year and fee so we are not getting this table data column anymore okay guys in this video we have seen how to export material table data into the excel sheet all right so you can get the download link of this code in description of this video if you want to learn more about the material table please check out to my playlist material table okay okay guys that's it for this video 
if you like this content do like share and subscribe see you in next video thanks for watching